Day 65 and it's the end of week 13. We have done Monday to Friday solid for the last 13 weeks. How many of those sessions have you been with me for? We have a load of people who have joined in the last week or two. We've got a load of people who have been with us from day one. Let us know where you are on the numbers and how you're getting on. Hiya Carol O'Mara, there's a blast. Hey Suzanne, how are we? Carol, is this the 65th day for you as well? Hey Susie, just, fit, just five Carol, is it? 65, I'm pretty sure. OC Dara, how are we doing? OC Dara, how many sessions have you got under your belt out of the 65? Just out of curiosity. Be interesting to see how we're getting on. Hold Market, hey Hold Market, that's Jack. How are you doing, guys? Hey Tom, welcome, welcome. Hey Trish. Hey teens, come on in, guys. You never say hello to me. Hi Nick. Hi. How are you? Great. As far as you're concerned, you, as far as they're concerned, you don't exist. <laughs> I'm just talking. I'm talking to the coffee table at the moment because you've never come in front of the camera before. I'm hungover today. She's hung, She's a bit hungover today. Yeah, she had a couple of couple of gins last night with her mother. Carol O'Mara, do you need to ask? No, I don't need to ask, Carol. I'm pretty sure you're on 65. Because hey, you're like me, you've nothing else to do, right? No idea. Well, that's a good sign because it's usually a high number then, Dara, right? Um, in the pen. Hey, and then how are we? How you doing, Ronan? Come on in. Barry John, what's going on, Barry John? How we doing? Okay, guys, so as I do on a Friday, we use no weight except ourselves. Hopefully the weight has dropped over the last 13 weeks, if we wanted to drop some weight. <laughs> Why am I getting wide eyes from you? Is that related to me or to you? Me. Okay, so we're not using any equipment today bar a chair. The chair is there purely to elevate yourself. Nick must be very strong now. She's very strong-willed, I'll tell you that. Um, a warm-up biscuit and tea. Come on, Barry John. Okay, guys, so we'll just get into a hamstring warm-up. So we're just going to start with some lunges. Get your feet under your hip bones. Big stride forward. Drop the knee down, push through the sole of the foot and come back up and then nice and slow, take your time. So remember, we're just mobilizing joints. We're just getting the blood flow going. We're just, well done, yeah, she's very good now. I'm very, very good at the old lunges. Not falling over and knocking over the TV. So big stride forward, dropping the knee to the floor, pushing through the sole of the foot and standing up tall. Using your stomach muscles contracted, squeeze them in order to stay stable. So I am looking for someone on Monday to join me on the session. They will not be taking part in training in front of the camera. All I want them to do is call the shots on the exercises. I have an idea in mind, a bit of, bit of crack. Let me know if you're interested and we'll get you set up into a joint session. I'll be doing the work, you're doing the shot, you're calling the shots, you're keeping an eye on the time. That's the job, that's all. Nothing else, nothing sinister. Okay, down into the plank position, two hands, two feet. Bring the foot forward, hold it there for three, and then rotate that torso for a further three, and then down and change the other side. Big stride forward, foot on the floor, hold it for three, and then big rotation for three, and then change again. So taking our time, relaxing the shoulder blades, big twist on that upper body as much as possible. Day 65. We've been in this fallen shelter now for 13 weeks. And what are you doing here? Why aren't you in the queue for pennies? Hey? Pennies or what's it, Ikea? Do you really need to go to Ikea or pennies that much that you have to queue outside to get in? Hey? Oh, and I'm just wired differently, I suppose. Stuff, okay, one more time. And then we'll get on to our hamstrings and lower back. Okay, feet back wide or into the plank, nice and wide, walk the hands in, sit yourself down into a squat, hook your fingers under your toes as you're squatting, pushing the knees out, and after three seconds, raise your hips as high as you can, relaxing through the shoulder blades, stretching out that lower back, stretching out those hamstrings, and then back down into that squat at the bottom again. And then raising those hips up high again, and then back down. So we're looking to really focus on a perfect squat at the bottom and a nice hamstring lower back stretch at the top. And keep alternating between them every three seconds. Good stuff. Okay, so first exercise we're gonna do, or exercises we're gonna do, everything we're gonna, is gonna last 60 seconds and we're gonna work between two exercises. So we're gonna work with a plank with a Spider-Man aspect to it, and then we're gonna go push-up, a Spider-Man push-up. So we're gonna work for 60 seconds. So everyone down into a high plank in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, high plank, three, two, one. Holding the high plank, draw your left knee to your left elbow, back down, right knee to right elbow, back down. Then you're gonna do a push up, and as you do a push up, you draw your left knee to your left elbow, and then you do a push up and draw your right knee to your right elbow. And then we're back to the plank, knee to elbow, and then push up, knee to elbow. And we're alternating between those two for the duration of the 60 seconds, of which 40 seconds remain. Take your time, go slow, because this is an accumulator. So every minute, we have a five second breather, and then we're drawing, into, uh, drawing a new exercise into the list. So this is the first one. So after this, we go back to the top of the list. And top of the list has that exercise in it. So you're gonna be very comfortable with this exercise by the end of the session. 10 seconds, then we're gonna shake out the arms and we're gonna go again. And rest, shake out the arms, ready to go again in three, two, one, let's go. High plank, knee draw, high plank, knee draw, push up, knee draw, push up, knee draw. So it's called a Spider-Man plank and a Spider-Man push up. So it's really important that you squeeze your core as you push yourself away from the floor and you use the whole surface area of the palm of your hand as you press away from the floor. There's no problem putting your one of the knees on the floor as you do your push-up, but you gotta emphasize chest all the way down between the hands, whole palm pushing into that floor. Shoulders should start to burn. We got 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna bring in prisoner squats to step up. Oh, this is tough. Stay with it. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand tall. Behind your chair, interlock your fingers behind your head. Push your hips back and down into a squat. Stand up, crush that chair into the floor with each foot. So we're doing two step ups for every squat. And with the step ups, you're alternating between feet. So again, that heart rate is gonna be elevated because we're using such large muscle groups over a prolonged period of time. Here we go. Good, 30 seconds to go. And then we're back into our Spider-Man plank to Spider-Man push-up. Control that breathing. We always exhale on the exertion. So the whole idea behind the Friday sessions is no equipment required. It's pure body weight because that just proves that you don't actually need equipment to get a full body workout. Three, two, one, down, chair to the side, back to the plank, push up, three, two, one, let's go. Elbow, elbow, press with elbow, press with elbow. Take your time, there's gonna be plenty of rounds here for you to bring this in and really focus and go nice and slow and emphasize that perfect technique every time. Oh, shoulders are gonna be burning, that's what we want. Squeezing your stomach in order to help keep the body in line and therefore isolate your chest and triceps more as you push yourself away from the floor. 20 seconds to go. If at any point you need to shake out the arms, do so and then get straight back into it again. 10 seconds, then we're back to our prisoner squat and step up. So we're really hitting those shoulders hard today. Two, one, up we get. Chair in front, interlock fingers, and it's a squat, followed by two step ups. And with the step up, we are not looking to push ourselves off the floor with the sole of the foot. We are looking to drive ourselves off the floor with the foot that's on the chair. Big inhale, hips drop. Drive off the sole of that foot. And this is not the end of the shoulders. Next exercises we're going into are dive bombers and push up downs. So you're gonna go into the high plank again. 
you're going to drive your chest a centimeter off the floor out in front and then back behind and up so imagine you're diving under the garden fence and then coming back in reverse after that it's a push up down that's down onto the low plank up into the high plank and then another dive bomber four three two one belt to the side high plank and let's get under that garden fence down scrape your chest off the floor come up underneath it bum is low head is high and then it's head low bum head low bum high back to the plank down onto the elbows up onto the hands and then another dive bomber so your dive bomber and then it's push up down and again go slow there's plenty of time there for you to work with plenty of reps 30 seconds to go yeah then we're back to the spider-man plank and push-up those shoulders are gonna be screaming that's what we want and attached to the shoulders we're also working biceps triceps and core 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one shake out the arms ready to go high plank knee to elbow on the outside of the body let's go so knee to elbow knee to elbow and a push-up knee to elbow and a push-up knee to elbow and if you're using your knees on the floor for your push-up that's fine provided everything on the upper body keeps working the way it's supposed to and the posture is not compromised shoulders are burning so it's a quick shake out and then you're straight back into it again and again the reason we draw the knee up is to hit that core so the slower you go with the knee draw and the movement the more you're getting the core so 20 seconds now we're back to our prisoner squats with a step up this is very tough guys so take your time emphasize that perfect technique and posture 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one up we get interlock fingers behind the head Woo. hips back and down push floor away get up on that chair twice Woo. and even behind the head those shoulders feel numb they're burning Woo. and it's a tough one so you gotta really focus on keeping the posture because those shoulders are so dead right now Woo. that you can't use them that much Woo. so good news that was the last set of spider-man push-up high plank push-up high plank spider-man high plank Ooh, I can't even think after this we're going into our dive bombers follow by push-up downs and then after that it's gonna be a lunge through with the Romanian deadlift five seconds four three two one down we get high plank so everything is done three times then it's gone from the list let's go so diving under up under back and then it's low plank back to high plank and you do not want to swing your hips left and right as you're going from low to high Whew. you just want to keep the core nice and tight which allows you to move down and up uniformly so Nick many sets of step, step ups have we done at this point two or three Whew. okay that's you say so Whew. 20 seconds to go Peter Andre yeah Whew. nice work guys so we're standing up tall in 10 seconds and we're gonna go into a forward lunge followed by a rear lunge followed by a single leg Romanian deadlift three two one up we get so nail your left foot to the floor let's go forward lunge rear lunge up together and it's the same leg goes out behind into a Romanian deadlift 
forward lunge, rear lunge, Romanian deadlift. Maintain posture on the shoulder blades at all times. That's the one. So, after this, we're going into our dive bombers, followed by push up downs again, and then we're going to intro a new exercise as the first time after the rear lunge and Romanian deadlift. Whew, 20 seconds. We're staying with the left leg throughout. We're maintaining the gap on the feet at all times and we're keeping the posture on the shoulder blades. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Back to the floor. Dive bombers, push up downs for the last time. Let's go. Down the fe under the fence, back to where we came, plank position, elbows and palms. Under the fence, back to where we came, elbows and palms. That's the one guys, looking good. Keep moving, keep the shoulder blades back, keep the chest out, keep the core tight. And we are focusing on chest, triceps, shoulders, core, and keeping the breathing in check. So after this, we're into our lunge throughs. Keep it moving. 15 seconds. It's the last time you're gonna do dive bombers to push up downs. That's it guys, stay in control of that technique. This is a tough one, stay with me and rest, up we get. Lunge through with the remaining deadlift, right leg is now the one nail to the floor. Let's go, forward lunge, rear lunge, whoops, right leg, Romanian deadlift. So again, when you're doing your Romanian single leg deadlift, you're focusing on keeping the whole foot on the floor, keeping the knee slightly bent, and keeping the posture on the shoulder blades. Because if you let the shoulder blades open, you're gonna lose your posture, and therefore, you're gonna lose emphasis on the hamstring and glute. This is good, keep going guys. 30 seconds to go. That's the one. Keep moving, 20 seconds to go. Nice work. So, after this, we're gonna do a squat, followed by a walk into a plank, then it's a push up, and then back out the way we came, and then we do a burpee. And we keep those two exercises going. Two, one, up we get. Feet shoulder width. Get ready to drop into a squat. Two, one. Squat low, walk into a plank, do a push up, walk back into the squat, stand up, now do a burpee. Chest on floor, in and up. And then it's a squat, plank walk, push up, back in, and up. And then it's a burpee. So 40 seconds time, we're back into our lunge throughs, and we're gonna go halfway with one leg and halfway with the other. So remember, you're trying to draw a clear distinction between the two exercises. So finish your squat and lunge, a squat walk uh, push up before you go into your burpee. The aim is just keep moving. Whew. That's the one, guys. You're ready to go back to our lunge throughs in three, two, one. Lunge forward, drop the knee, lunge back, drop the knee. Then a single leg Romanian deadlift with perfect posture. Forward, back, and then single leg Romanian deadlift, perfect posture. That's it. Keep moving. Shoulders back, chest is proud, keeping the core tight in order to maintain posture. <sighs> Flying through it today, guys. Ready to change shoulder leg in three, two, one. Change, lunging with the other leg now. <sighs> and we're really focusing on that perfect technique. So this is our third round of lunge through with Romanian deadlift. We're gonna follow this 
with our squat plank push up burpee. Take your time with them, guys. There is plenty of reps to be had in that 60 second window. And rest. Get ready to go squat in three, two, one. Squat, walk, push up, walk, stand, burpee. And remember, rule number one with the burpee is get your hands on the floor. Then you concentrate on getting those legs out behind you and figure out the rest from there. Whew. And again, just keep moving. We don't have to go at a mad cat pace. We just gotta keep moving. That's the key. If you stop, your heart rate drops and therefore we start to lose the benefits that we've built up. So what you do if you're struggling is you tail back the technique, focus on the, on the and then once you've got it dialed in, then you start increasing the tempo again within that control. 12 seconds, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. We're going to sit down on the floor with our legs either side of the or on one side of the chair. And sit on the floor, legs out straight, lean back. We're going to do a hurdle over the chair, tip the floor, back to the other side. And then we're going to do a toe touch with both hands. So it's over and back and then heels on chair, toe touch, full contraction. So we're going for an oblique raise and twist and then it's floor to toes for one rep. And we're leaning back as little as we can through the hands and we're load bearing through the core whew, as opposed to the arms. Oh. So we're into our last round of squat, walk, push up burpee next. That's a mouthful. Oh, how are you feeling, Nick? Huh? Dodgy. Dodgy. That's what you get. Drinking gin. Nothing good ever comes from drinking gin, Nick, huh? Oh. And back to our squat, walk, push up. Let's go. Up we get. Feet shoulder width. Hips back and down. Walk into the plank. Do your push up. Go back in reverse, stand tall, go into a burpee. Oh. And there are no man maker burpees today. There are only just regular vanilla burpees that we're doing now. Whew. Nice work guys, just keep moving. Today is not a high tempo session, today is a continuous movement session. So you're getting that high heart rate from the sheer volume of reps you're doing with complete control. Because when you use complete control, you're maintaining all those muscles firing and therefore they all require blood at the same time, which means cardio system has to work over time to keep going. Whew, what's next, Nick? Over backs, let's go. So hurdles with the chair over back oh. and then it's full crunch toe taps Whew. over back on the chair full crunch toe taps and I always get the question why do you have to touch the floor beyond the head and that's to ensure you stretch out the core fully which means when you sit up you've got to contract the core fully so you've got to reach beyond the head it doesn't mean swing the arms into it, it just means tip the floor beyond the head and then sit up using your torso whew, to get it. Oh, 20 seconds and then we're into our new exercise which is a plie squat followed by a lateral step up. So we're going to stand to the left side of the chair, chair is going to be beside our right knee and then we're going to do a plie squat beside it followed by a step up onto a three two, one, up we get. Chair to the right, you to the left, standing on the left leg, send your right leg around, down, pushing off the sole of that left foot, and then step with the right leg up onto the chair. Try and keep it as seamless as possible. So I'm dropping through my hips around and down, I'm driving through the sole of my left foot, I'm pushing my right foot into the surface of the chair, and crushing that chair into the floor so I can stand up tall. 
So I'm doing it right. I'm feeling a stretch around the left hip, glute cheek. I'm feeling on the outside of the left quad. And then when I step up on that chair, I'm using my right foot, push fully into the floor and engage my right butt cheek. So we're going into our last round of chair hurdles next. That's the one. So we got 12 seconds and then we're into our chair hurdles. Flying through it today, guys. You are now officially over the halfway mark. Three, two, one, on the floor. Let's go. Over and back, three, two, one, let's go. All the way over, tip, all the way back. Touch the floor behind your head, sit up, touch your toes, and then go into your hurdle again. So the hurdle works the lower and the obliques, and the toe touch works the upper core. Don't worry, we're gonna get the transverse in again at the end of the session. We got a lot of transverse in at the start with our Spider-Man plank and push-up and our dive bombers. But we will be saying hello to the beast at the end of the session. Oh. Woo. So while you're working here, especially with the overbacks, I want you to focus on what your core is doing, how straight your legs are. Oh. Touch beyond the head and then touch the toes. So in 12 seconds, we're back up into our plie squat and we're gonna do it on the right side of the chair this time. And we're gonna step up onto the chair with our left leg. Three, two, one. Up we get, stand to the right of the chair, kick the left leg around and back and down and drive off the sole of that right foot and then push yourself up onto the chair with the left. So it's a combination of a plie squat and a lateral step up. When you combine these, we are hitting the outside of the right hip and the left ass cheek. So if you do both sides, you're focusing on the whole butt, hamstring, hip, glute area. And we're also mobilizing as much as possible through those hips. That's the one, keep going. So we're almost there. We got 22 seconds and then we're going into Whew. Hang on one sec, keep going. I'm just gonna check my notes. Can't read my own handwriting. Oh yeah, grand. So in 12 seconds, we're gonna go into kneeling shoulder press on the chair. Two knees on the chair, two hands on the floor. Push yourself away. Three, two, one. Two knees on the chair. Oops, two hands on the floor as close to the feet of the chair as possible. And we're gonna go down, headbutt the floor, squeeze your stomach, push yourself away. So this is an isolation exercise. There is no exercise or variation with this. It's a pure shoulder core exercise. So you're going slow. You're dropping your head right down. You're letting your shoulder blades fold back together. You're squeezing your core and you're pushing yourself away from the floor. We are almost done on this format of the session. And then we're gonna get into some core cardio to finish. Whew. We're just gonna ramp that heart rate for the last five to 10 minutes. Oh, nice work. In through nose, drop, squeeze stomach, exhale up. In through nose, drop, squeeze stomach, exhale up. And we're gonna go into standing on the left side of the chair oh, to finish off on the plies. And halfway point, we're gonna change to the right. And up we come, standing to the left of the chair. Kicking the right leg out and around behind you, driving off the left foot, and then stepping up onto that chair with the sole of that right foot. Hey Nick, what's your horriblest cardio exercise other than burpees? Oh, <laughs> you're a mind reader. That's it, good stuff. So 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna change to the other side. And what we're looking for here is full rotation, twist, of the lower body, keeping the upper body facing forward. Change sides. So I'm now gonna plie around with my left leg, drive off my right foot, push myself onto the chair with my left foot. And there's no heel overhang. The heel is down on both aspects of the feet when you're pushing away from the floor. 12 seconds, then we're back onto our shoulders on the chair, and it's gonna be our last round of shoulder press. Three, Two, one, two knees on the chair. 
It's only two rounds of this because it's on its own. Let's go, 60 seconds. Here we go. So, we're gonna combine two exercises. We're gonna flick between them. We're gonna go mountain climbers and we're gonna go bike crunch. Mountain climbers, bike crunch. And that's gonna go for a Tabata format. And a Tabata format is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, until we have done four rounds on each. Eight reps. We're gonna oh, focus on alternating between the exercises. So we're gonna do one 20 seconds mountain climbers, then we're gonna go one 20 seconds of bike crunch. So it's core and cardio. Whew. And that is not the end of it, guys. Keep moving with me. We're gonna really ramp that heart rate now for a Friday. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you have 10 seconds, guys. In through nose, out through mouth. We're gonna set the timer. Whoops. Okay, so it's now down to 20 seconds worth of work. We're going for 10 seconds break in between, and we're gonna go continuously. All right. So we're gonna start on mountain climbers. Down we get, high plank. Draw the knee to body under, draw knee to elbow under the body in four, three, two, one. Let's go. So we're looking for speed here, guys. We're looking to load bear through the hands, the fingertips, the ball of the hand, the heel of the hand. The majority of your body weight is on your hands, your head's out in front, which allows those legs to fly. Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one. On your back. Getting ready to sit up and crunch, right elbow, left knee, and then down and change. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, twist, back down. And we're alternating, and we're looking for speed now, guys. So I want you to really focus on nailing that technique, and squeezing that technique, and holding onto it for the duration of a 20 second window. Don't just freewheel it, and fling the arms and legs. Stay tight, and rest. Back to mountain climbers, round two of four. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, let's go. So what we're doing now is we're really ramping the heart rate to send you into the weekend. Shoulder blades relaxed, stomach nice and tight, rotating the torso to accommodate the hip and knee to elbow. Four, three, two, one, down on your back. Again, sitting with a twist. Two, one, let's go. Up and twist, back down, tip floor. Up and twist, back down, tip floor. And we are looking for reps here, but with a nice tight technique, focusing on hitting the obliques on your core. Woo! Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Round we get, we're halfway. We're gonna go knee to elbow in the mountain climbers in six seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, that's a tune. Old school, baby come back. Keep moving, shoulder blades relaxed. Let me know what your workout tunes are like. If you got a Spotify playlist, I wanna see it. Or similar. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, on your back. Woo! Five seconds, four, three, two, one, let's go. Woo! Up and twist, full range. Just because you're going fast, does not mean we sacrifice technique. So if you're not able to nail that technique with the additional speed, slow it down. Oh. Four seconds, three, two, one, rest, round we get. Turn that up, tune. Five seconds, we're in the mountain climbers. No, 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 it's okay. Three, two, one, let's go. I wouldn't be able to do it, I couldn't ask you to do it. Woo. So this is our last set of mountain climbers, guys. Keep going. After this, we're going into our last set of Russian, or sorry, knee to elbow bike crunch, followed by squat drops. Woo. And let's go. Back onto our backs. Knee to elbow, last round. And then we're up 
into drop squats. Let's go. So a drop squat is feet together, standing tall, spread the feet wide, drop your ass all the way down, and then spring back up, feet to, together. So it's wide, low, narrow, tall. Whew. And then we're going into a reverse crunch. And up we get. So new Tabata, four new exercises, or two new exercises. Feet together, standing tall. Spread the feet, drop the ass into a squat. Let's go. And drop, stand tall. And drop, stand tall. And drop, stand tall. We're looking for continuous reps. You're not jumping the feet out and down. You're literally just opening the trap door and dropping into it. But you're maintaining contact with the soles of the feet at all times. Whew. Okay, onto the floor. Reverse crunch. Hands beside the hips. Drive the feet to the sky. And let's go. Straight up off that floor. We're looking to really target the lower core. And in order to target the lower core, you gotta keep the feet above the hips. Do not let the feet track above the head like you're doing a backwards tumble. It's straight up 90 degrees from the floor. Use the hands, three, two, one, up we get. Whew. Stand tall, spread the floor, drop. Four, has the heart rate neck. Three, two, one, go. So we're dropping as soon as those feet open. We're not jumping wide. We're literally just sliding those feet aggressively out wide to allow you drop into the squat. You do not raise your heels. You keep the soles of the feet, contact with the floor at all times. Down onto your backs. Ready to go reverse crunch. 137. That's your heart rate? Yeah. Why is that 150? You're beating me. Let's go. I think you're fitter than me, Nick. Get yourself in front of the camera here. Let everyone see your pretty hungover face. Oh. <laughs> we got 10 seconds, and then we're into our third round of drop squat. Keep moving, guys. We are absolutely flying through the session. You are almost home. Oh, and up we get. Woo. Ready to go. Drop squats. Three, two, one, go. And drop. And drop. And remember, the feet get turned out, the hips go back and down, and the knees get pushed out to the side. If you're doing this right, your quads should be feeling rock solid, and your heart rate should be sky high. Two, one, down on your reverse crunch. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, let's go. So this is our third round of reverse crunch. We've got one more set of drop squats, followed by one more set of reverse crunch, and then we got our plank and beast work. It's gonna be side plank. Oh. Whew. Four, three, two, one. Up we get. Okay, feet are narrow, ready to spread the floor and drop. Three, two, one, go. So again, we're looking for tempo. We want to keep the feet flat. We want to spread the feet wide, enough to drop the hips into that gap. We don't want to go onto our toes. We want to keep the pressure to the big muscles. Quads, glutes, hamstrings, and core. Two, one, onto the floor. Woo. So, reverse crunch to finish off this one, and then we're going into side plank beast. Two, one, let's go. So we're going to go into a side plank, for 20 seconds after this. Oh, but before you do it, you got a 10 second breather. Oh, stay with me guys, we are almost home. Side plank and beast is the last two exercises. Four, three, two, one. Okay, side plank, ready to go. Left elbow on the floor. Four, three, two, one, up we get. So if you can, Drop your hips, raise your hips. Drop your hips, raise your hips. If you need some support, the top leg goes in front with the knees slightly bent. Eight seconds, and then we're gonna go into the beast hold. Five, four, only for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Beast hold. Let's go. Shoulder blades relaxed. The knees are the same width as the hands. 
The feet are the same width as the knees. Two, one. Onto the right elbow. Side plank raises. Let's go. So there is no rest. Essentially, the beast is the rest. Getting ready to go back into the beast hold in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the beast, let's go. Woo. So your shoulder blades are relaxed, the soles, or the palms of the hands are on the floor, the knees are literally a centimeter off the floor, and back to the left elbow. Let's go, side plank raises. So we're really focusing on little to no rest and focusing on the transverse abs. Core, deep core. So, five seconds, we're into the beast. Three, two, one, back to the beast. Let's go. It's only 10 seconds, make a count. Four seconds, we're back to right side, left side plank. Two, one, right side, let's go. So we're looking to drop the hips, raise the hips, focus on the right underside of the body. Neck, nice work. Oh. Seven seconds, we're into the beast. Five, four, three, two, one. Round we get, beast it up. So the beast is now gonna change into the hollow hold, but the side planks are gonna stay the same. Two, one, left elbow on the floor, side plank raise, let's go. We're halfway through. You are two minutes away from your finish line. 10 seconds, you're gonna go flat onto your back. Arms and legs are gonna be fully extended. We're gonna raise the shoulder blades off the floor. Hollow hold, two, one, let's go. Hollow hold, flatten the small of the back into the floor. Six seconds, we're onto the right elbow for side plank. Four, three, two, one. Right elbow, side plank raise, let's go. We're almost home, guys. After this, we gotta go left, right, with a hollow in between, and then we're done. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Onto your back, arms and legs fully extended, shoulder blades off the floor, flatten the small of the back into the floor. In five seconds, we're back to the left elbow for the last time. Three, two, one. Left elbow on the floor, raise those hips high. Oh, nice core finisher for a Friday, the 65th Friday. Or 65th session. So what's 65? How many Fridays are that? 13th. 13th Friday. Friday the 13th. Okay. And hollow hold. Let's go. Keep the small of the back pushing into the floor. Five seconds. We're on to the right side. Four, three, two, one. Right elbow. 20 seconds on the right. 10 second hollow hold. And we're done. 12 seconds. And then we're into the hollow hold to finish it off. Oh. Five seconds, four, three, two, hollow in one, on your back, last 10 seconds in session, say it with me, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo. And that is Friday, the 13th Friday, 65th week comes, our 65th session, 13th week comes to a close. And I'm not upside down, you are. Whew. Well done. Are you still hung over, Nick? Yeah, she's still hung over. Oh. Well done, guys. That was tough. Really good core finisher at the end. Yes, it seemed a bit frantic, but we wanted to keep the heart rate up at the same time. Penzance decorating, how we doing? That's one of my buddies over in uh, in the UK, Penzance, doing his uh, lifeboat duty. <sighs> okay, guys, so we're gonna get to a cool down stretch, feet nice and wide, soften the knees, push the hips out the back, and just let the backs of those hands hang to the floor. Shoulder blades are tractioning out, shoulder bla shoulders are tractioning out, I should say, shoulder blades are opening up, lower back, <sighs> hamstrings and glutes. Heat, if you're still online, that's Penzance decorating. Say hello, haven't spoken to you in a while. Hope all's going well down there. <sighs> Control the breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, slowing the heart rate down. Okay, we're gonna do a big rotation on the right arm now. 
keeping the weight through the heels, keeping the knees slightly bent, keeping the butt pushed out the back, and it's a nice rotation on that torso. And then we're gonna change, left hand all the way up and around, right hand stays on the floor, shoulders back, chest is proud, hamstrings are lit up. Five more seconds, and we're gonna go into a lunge. Three, two, one. Up you come, drop the left knee onto the floor. So we're stretching out that hip flexor, hands behind the head and driving that hip forward. Shoulder blades are relaxed. And then we're gonna change the other side. Sorry, I've got a, someone looking to get a hold of me. So hands behind, the, or hands behind the head, drive that hip forward. Keep that hip forward. Seven more seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up we come, drop the right hand down the back in between the shoulder blades, left on the elbow, pull to the left, keep it there for four, three, two, one, and change. Left hand in between, right on top, pull to the right for five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. Push your COVID-19 hair out of the way. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And that is your lot, guys. So that's the end of our 13th week. Yes, we will still be going next Monday at midday. You're very welcome. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, go have something to eat, because I'm starving if I hear anything like me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.